May I have your attention, please? Ελάτε, Έλληνε, να δείξουμε τον καλό μα εαυτό. Thank you. <laughs> so, let us pray to the Lord. We give thanks to you, O God, for this day of celebration of Greece and Orthodoxy by the city of New York. We express our gratitude to Mayor Adams and to all his co workers who serve the good people of New York. Sustain their efforts, prosper our city, keep all our police, fire, and emergency responders safe, and grant unto us to live in peace, safety, and abundance through your loving grace. Amen. Amen. Dear Mayor Adams, on behalf of the Greek Orthodox people of New York City, and indeed the National Archdiocese of America, whose headquarters is not so far from Gracie Mansion. Allow me to express to you our gratitude and appreciation for your recognition of the Greek Independence Day, March 25th, 1821. This coming Sunday, we shall once again march up Fifth Avenue with pride and with joy, waving the national banners of Greece and Cyprus. And we look forward to you joining us and the mighty Greek Presidential Guard. The Hellenes of 2,500 years brought forth the concept of democracy to this world. And ever since, Women and men of good courage and integrity have endeavored to perfect the democratic model of Athens, refining the ever-expanding the circle of inclusion that a true democracy demands. Today, we join hands with you to make of our city a better place, a better place for all its citizens and we thank you for your service to this end. And in those you will honor, you honor every Greek Orthodox of New York. We are by your side, Mr. Mayor, your honor in the thick of creating a more democratic city and world. Long live Greece. Zito Yelada. <laughs> Zito, New York. <laughs> now, my dear friends, with the same enthusiasm, please help me to welcome our mayor, the Honorable Eric Adams. <laughs> wow, what a room, and it's really good to be here with your eminence and all that he has done uh, to really bring the level of spirituality, hope, and prosperity uh, to the Athens of America called New York. Yeah. We have the largest Greek population uh, in America right here in New York City. And this is not a community that I'm new to. This is a community I know so well from my days in Brooklyn as the Brooklyn Bar President uh, to my days of being a mayor, you have come here and graced us in, with your presence as we acknowledge the rich history and your independence and your contribution to this city. We are so aligned with what we believe it is to be a New Yorker. You believe in family, and your commitment and dedication to family is seen throughout this entire city. You believe in faith. Your belief in your faith you hold it as dear as I believe in faith as you do. You believe in business. Many of our Greek businesses throughout the city, they have played a vital role in the recovery of all of the jobs we lost pre-pandemic is because of your commitment and dedication. And most importantly, you believe in children. Your schools 
and all the things you do about ensuring that the children receive a quality education and using all of the resources available. I cannot tell you how many times I attended Boy Scout rituals where Eagle Scouts came from the Greek community. And at the heart of that, you believe in law enforcement. You support our police. Your hearts mourn with mine when we lost young Jonathan to violence. You know that we're in a city where too many bad people are doing bad things to good people and the recidivist actions of them must stop. Your voices have been aligned with mine as we talk about building a city where public safety and justice are the prerequisite to how we continue to grow. It tore me apart to watch a member of this community on her way to church and was assaulted. And we pray for her every day. We have such a small number of people who totally disregard the public safety of our city. But as long as I'm the mayor, I'm going to fight to do everything I can to make sure they don't continue to harm our city. A few, few weeks ago, we marked 200 and three years of Greek independence. It was back in 1821, the brave men and women of Greece rose up to, against the Ottoman Empire for their freedom. You show that strength and courage every day as we see the members of your community and our law enforcement community throughout this entire city. Your fight for justice and democracy teaches us that we can achieve the insurmountable America is what it is because we learn from the first democratic society that exists, and that is in Greece. I was so proud when I visited, every time I visit Greece, particularly the last trip, as I went to an anti-Semitism conference was there and there in Athens and watched the Greek pe people of Greece stand up for what is right, fight against hate, you know what it is to be subjugated to a form of violence just as you rose up then. Let's rise up again together to remove hate from our society. We get it right in New York. It will cascade throughout the entire country and cascade throughout the entire globe. So happy independence. Continue to be the great people that contribute to the great city of New York. There's only two types of Americans, those who live in New York and those who wish they could. We're the lucky one. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, you know, we have a special, special honoree today. And uh, my chief advisor says she would not allow anyone uh, give the honoree but her. So I'm going to bring her up, Chief Advisor Ingrid P. Yeah. P. Lewis Martin. Thank you, Mayor Adams. Good evening. Good evening. Oh, no, 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 no. Good evening. Good evening. This is indeed a great evening. We are here celebrating Greek heritage. I had the pleasure of visiting Greece last year with some of my team members. Um, one of the honorees tonight took us to a wonderful trip in Greece. We went to Athens and a number of other places, and we visited a very small, quaint town called Michelangi. And I spoke to Casamantides. I don't see him here. I don't know why he's not here, but he's going to hear my mouth. And I told him, I said, you need to go to Greece, and you need to help to build up Michelangi, because it's beautiful. It's a lovely place, and it's ripe for tourism. We cats. I told you. Did I not tell you about Michelongi? It is ripe for development. But we have a number of honorees and I first take this opportunity to compliment and commend all of tonight's honorees. Each one of you have contributed so much to the Greek community in New York City. We love you. That is why the mayor and our team found it fit to recognize you amongst your peers because you have distinguished yourselves for doing stellar and outstanding work. But as the mayor said, there is one honoree that I found it befitting that the mayor and his trusted right hand, <laughs> that would be me, <laughs> do a presentation. And that is our dear friend, Keisha, would you help bring her up, please? Stella. Kokolis. So come on, don't hold the applause. Come on. Tonight is the honorees' night. 
When you hear the names of our honorees, you have to give them, yes, you got to show them love. So Stella will receive a citation from the office of the mayor, and it reads, all of the citations, the top part reads all the same. So I'm going to read the um, citation for Stella. It says, where am I am honored to be the mayor of the city with more than 3.2 million immigrant New Yorkers who enhance every facet of life in our metropolis. The cross-culture ethnic mosaic to which they so richly contribute is the source of our singularity and strength, providing us with infinite reasons to celebrate our friends and neighbors, many of whom hail from every corner of the globe and speak more than 800 languages. We are proud to be the home of a thriving population of Greek New Yorkers, yes, come on, who have made an indelible impact on life throughout the, throughout the five boroughs. In that spirit, today it gives me great pleasure to welcome members of this vibrant community to today's Greek Heritage Reception. So that's for each and every last one of you and for the honorees. And that reads on the top of each citation. Now we're gonna talk about my dear friend, Stella. This is her bio, and after I read her bio, I'm gonna tell you about Stella. I'll do it now. Stella has been with the mayor and with me so many years I cannot recall. I'll say back in the Senate days. She has always been one of our strongest advocates and allies. You know, when people turn their backs on us, you already know there's always naysayers. Stella is one of the friends that the mayor always talks about because he is that same type of friend. When others walk away from you, she, he walks into the room and so does Stella. When people turned their backs on us and said, he's never going to be the borough president, she was, he's going to be the next borough president. She helped us to work in partnership with the Greek community, and we will never forget you. She worked with us for him to become the mayor. Many people in this room voted for us, and you supported us. And Stella and others were the reason why. Once you got to meet the mayor, you knew who he was, and you knew that he is just like you. Family-oriented, cares about people in general, and want what's best for all. He doesn't care what you look like in terms of your race or your nationality or your religion. If you are a good person and you have a good heart, you're his kind of person. I see you. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to tell you what this reads about Stella. Whereas born in Basti Andros, Greece, Stella Kokolis serves as the president of the Federation of Hellenic American Educators and Cultural Associations of America. For more than five decades, she has worked to propel Greek education in the United States teaching ancient and modern Greek and global history and special education at numerous middle schools, high schools, and universities. Stella is also a member of New York State Commission on Bilingual Education and is recognized for her work as an educator, community leader, and political activist. I applaud all she has achieved and look forward to the many ways she will continue to elevate people in all neighbor backgrounds. Whereas Greek New Yorkers have long strengthened the fabric of the Big Apple, and they will continue to play a crucial role as we take bold steps to move our great global city forward. Today's event provides residents of the five boroughs with an excellent opportunity to deepen their understanding of Panhellenic culture and stand in solidarity with our Greek sisters and brothers. Together, we will continue to forge a better, brighter future for all. Now, therefore, I, it would be him, Eric Adams, <laughs> Mayor of the City of New York, on Tuesday, April 9th, 2024, do hereby confer this citation on Stella Kokolis. I'm going to give it to the mayor. If you want to see a leader that is good or bad, you have to look around him. Who is the person 
the chief advisor or all the others that they are in his office. And Eric Adams, our beloved mayor, has a lady of ladies, a person that only when you get to know her, you will see what I mean. This is the lady here who spoke so many things about me. I can stay hours to say about that lady. She's a wonderful, wonderful admirer person. And that is thanks to the, our mayor, who's the mayor of all ethnicities, the mayor of every color yes. nation and loves New York. He's, we are blessed to have him. He, he's blessed also to have people like the Greek community, uh, Latino community, Jewish community to support our beloved mayor. He's the best for many, many, many things who brought to the city the, the most difficult city of the whole <laughs> United States of America. And he's able to control. And he has the blessings of everyone who deal with the, their God, their domain. He has the blessings of our Archbishop Elpidophoros. Archbishop Elpidophoros, <laughs> who with his determination, he is like Archbishop Yakovos. And you have to excuse me. This is what I want to say. With his determination, his hard work, finish the shrine of St. Nicholas Yay. to protect the city, to protect everybody, and of course to protect our mayor and our, our yes. city. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Yeah. Thank you very much for this honor. It, the honor goes to everyone in the city. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Introducing honoree Dimitrios Panagos. <laughs> so we're gonna, we, we want to continue to move on with these great honorees. Demetrios, we really want to thank you. And whereas great New Yorkers have long strengthened the fabric of the Big Apple, and they will continue to play a crucial role as we take bold steps to move our great global city forward, today's event provides residents of the five boroughs with an excellent opportunity to deepen their understandings. And so, as in Ingrid indicated, uh, we just want to thank you for all the work you, that, that you, have, you have done. Your work has been published in numerous publications in the United States and in Greece, including Time Magazine, Newsweek, Greek News, the Greek News USA, for which you have also co-published since 1994. We want to thank you for what you have done and what you'll continue to do. Congratulations to you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. It means a lot because for somebody who, for the last 40 years, been working behind the, the podium, photographing all the mayors, the past mayors, and this great reception that the city of New York offers to the Greek American community, it means a lot. I just want to say, you mentioned everything that we do as a community, as a Greek American community in the city of New York, but I also want to emphasize the firemen and the police officers who give their lives every day to keep us safe. Thank you so much. Zito Yelas. God bless America, and we'll see you Sunday at the parade. Introducing honoree Georgia Kant Zamanis. That's okay. All, all good. All good. Thank you so much, Georgia. Whereas born and raised in Brooklyn. <laughs> 
Georgia is a proud second generation of Greek Americans. For more than 16 years, she has been director of the New York City Greek Independence Day Parade, a parade that we all love. We want to thank you. The largest Greek heritage procession outside of Athens and is responsible for managing logistics for thousands of participants from across the tri-state area. Georgia has previously held various roles in New York State Assembly and Senate, as well as the U.S. Congress, and currently holds the position of Citywide Operations Manager for the New York City Board of Elections. <laughs> in 2019, she spearheaded the successful implementation of early voting in the five boroughs, a challenging task, but she pulled it off and made it happen. The B BOE's expansion of multi of mail-in ballots and canvassing via outline uh, portals. Uh, so it is just so proud for us to acknowledge her great work and see everyday people doing extraordinary things in our city government. You are representative of that. Congratulations. Thank you so much. much. Mr. Mayor, Your Eminence, on behalf of the entire Greek American community here in New York City, we wanted to say thank you for continuing this beautiful tradition here at Gracie Mansion and honoring our heritage, not only as Greek Americans, but as proud New Yorkers to be here in the People's House. And so we do appreciate you continuing this tradition. And I, too, look forward to welcoming you all on Sunday, 1.30 on Fifth Avenue. It's going to be a beautiful day. I got it on good, uh, this, the weather's going to be good. I got it from a good source over here. Thank you. Introducing honoree, Father Vesilos Luros. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Whereas born in New Jersey, but we still love him, and, <laughs> and raised in Athens, Greece, Father Vesilos is a prominent figure in our city's Greek community. He studied at Hellenic College in Massachusetts and continued his theological education at Holy Cross Greek Orthodox School of Theology. In 2009, Father was ordained to the document in, by former Archbishop uh, uh, Giron Demetrius, and in 2011 was ordained to the priesthood at the Cathedral, cathedral of St. Demetrius Astoria. For more than a decade, I want more of you to move back to Astoria to make it more normalized, you know? <laughs> for, for more than two decades, Father has been committed to serving the various spiritual needs of his congregation, guided by his faith. He has started a variety of groups and prosperous through which he has guided our city's youth and giving them the tools and support that they need to elevate others. And so I, Eric Adams, Mayor of the City of New York, say congratulations to you. We wish you many, many more years of blessing and uplifting people. Good evening. I would like first like to express my heartfelt appreciation to the Honorable Mayor Eric Adams for this prestigious award. This award belongs to His Eminence Archbishop Epidophoros of America, whose initiatives guide and fuel the mission of our Zodohu Pigi Paris. I will also like to thank my Paris Council members, Paris volunteers, and my beautiful family for always supporting the phenomenal ministries of Zolohu Pigi Church in the Bronx. It is the aspiration of the Greek Orthodox faithful of the Paris to work together in preserving our Greek culture, heritage, and most of all, this historic church as a radiant beacon of philanthropy, faith, and culture in this glorious city. Thank you so much, Zito Yelava.
Thank you. Many much food left. Enjoy the beautiful night. <laughs>